Hi guys, I wanted to pop on to show you guys my normal face routine. I start out with Pure Rose Lotion and put it all over my face just to give it a smooth base. Then I'm going to air it out just to dry a little bit, a little bit before I put on some um, primer. And now I'm going to go in with my VFX Pro Primer. This stuff is so soft and silky. It makes my face feel so smooth like a baby's butt. And I'm only going to put just a little bit on there just all over my face. Now I'm going to go in with some CC cream, and this is just a color corrective um, tinted moisturizer, and it flew out my hand by accident, <laughs> sorry, um, but this is just a tinted moisturizer, and I'm just using it for a base for foundation just to cover up my redness. And now I'm going to take my BB cream, and this is just a regular foundation. Um, this stuff works really, really well with CC cream. Um, it's more of a coverage with CC cream than by itself. Um, and this stuff, I'm going to blend it down my neck. Um, I did not do that with my CC cream. So I'm blending it down just to make it look nice and clean. And now I'm going to use our pressed powder. This stuff is amazing. I used to put on a whole bunch of powder, but this stuff I just need a little bit and it makes your skin look so flawless. Next, I'm going to put on some blush. Our blushes are very pigmented, so you don't need to like drag your brush across it. And you just dab it as well as you dab it with your cheeks as well. So that way it's not so bright and shiny. Next, I'm going to use some translucent powder. This powder is amazing. For one, I put it under my eyes. Actually, I put a lot under my eyes. For the reason of if you want, if or whenever you put on eyeshadow, the loose um, powders of it gets brushed off with the extra powder whenever I'm finished with doing my eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to use our new eyeshadow palette. It's for the 4th of July. I'm just going to do just a little small 4th of July look. And I'm just going to use our fluffy brush, our blending brush, whatever you want to call it. I did not have a crease brush yet. So I'm going to use the blending brush and our 2-in-1 brush just for my eyeshadows. And I'm taking the white first to my crease and up. So that way, whenever I put on the blue and red, it gives it more of a pop. And then I'll put the blue in my bottom corner and I'm going to blend it up to my crease and out to my lid.
And then the red just goes onto my lid and I'm going to blend it towards the blue. And now I'm going to add some more white onto the crease and up so that way it gives it more of a pop and the white is not so um, hidden. Next I'm going to take a little bit of the shadow from my Morphe palette and just add some glitter onto, the, um, onto my lids. And now I'm just going to put on some eyeliner. Um, I used to do top and bottom, but now I'm kind of loving um, just putting it on my lower um, lash line. Next is my favorite duo combination of mascara, which is our Zen Mascara and our Starlick Mascara. They both work great together. The Zen Mascara, I love it for one reason because the wand is very flexible. So it can get into all the like the small lashes and the corners and all that other good stuff. Um, and then our Starlick, our Starlick Mascara is, um, it's a teardrop wand. Um, that, I like it just to put it like an, as an overcoat on, on, um, like Zen or one of our other, um, mascaras, which is Extreme Curl. This mascara is, it's also good for itself, but I, I like to use it as a top coat. And then next, I'm going to put on some lip conditioner. I cannot go a day without this stuff. This stuff is amazing. And I totally forgot, but I had skipped the step of concealer, so I'm just going to go ahead and put some on under my lids and between where my nose and my forehead meets. And then I'm just going to add just some extra powder to it just to kind of give it another flawless look so it doesn't look so creasy or um where you can just tell there's been concealer that's just blended in then i'm going to add some more mascara to my bottom lashes because when you put concealer on after you put on mascara it kind of takes away the mascara from your lashes and now i'm going to add some um highlight which is our terracotta uh, powder and I'm going to squirt my Time Locker Setting Spray onto my brush because whenever you get your brush wet with setting spray and put it into your highlighter, it gives it more of a pop. And then I'm going to take some of our baby lipstick, which is in Birthday Chic. And this color is amazing. I love it. Not only is it neutral, but it works really, really well with my skin tone. And I'm just going to spritz my face a couple of times for setting spray. And voila! All done!